Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. This is Mad Money Show. I'm doing my weekly fantasy team, uh, just something for fun. I've been putting out. I'll see if the audience grows as of right now. Um, I think the last video got about 250 views, but that's fine. I released it on a Sunday, which uh, most people really aren't paying attention to anything about football on Sunday, at least on my channel anyway, since this is a football channel. So I completely understand that. So this one here I'm releasing Saturday night. Uh, maybe if you guys haven't done a uh, you know a list by then, or if you haven't done a ticket by then, uh, maybe this will help you out, give you some ideas. Uh, I'm on the main page right here. I'm on the lobby page, and I just want to show you the, the ticket that I'm playing. This one right here. Um, is it has a million and a half basically in total prizes in first place is a hundred thousand dollars It's essentially like playing the lottery. I want to do recaps and last week uh, really wasn't much to recap I didn't win anything. <laughs> so I'm not gonna go over too much I had a couple of decent picks here and there. I was right about Carson Wentz I said he'd have a big week uh, another touchdown or two would have really made him stand out I thought he was gonna throw for like three four touchdowns. He had two uh, But he was one of like three quarterbacks to throw for 300 yards So I was right on point with that a couple other things too. I picked Adam Thielen who had a really good game um, but overall, like I said, if I'm not winning money, I'm not really going <laughs> to you know, act like I did that great. Um, but so let's go ahead and let's get into my first uh, lineup. This is, I'm only going to do about one ticket a week uh, that I show you guys. And I'm pretty much out. If I want to do some ones off you know, to the side, I'll probably do that. But let's go ahead and let's show the first ticket. Now, I was still saying that um, I would do... Now I was still saying that I would do um, a, a, a basically a, a league of this for just people on my Facebook. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section if I can get enough people to do that. Um, you can create private kind of like leagues just week to week in here that people can join and, and leave whenever. Um, so if you guys know anything about that, if you're interested, hit me in the, up in the comment section and let me know. Uh, maybe I'll do that just for fun down the line. But either way, looking at my lineup here, uh, I got Tom Brady. Uh, which is a guy I typically don't take, and I feel a little awkward about taking him. I feel like that, that game is probably going to be a blowout, or at least most people think it will, so it'll probably be like a low-scoring game and screw everybody over. That's typically how it goes. Uh, but that game has high potential to be a blowout, a really high-scoring game. And uh, I think that, you know, with the lack of weapons that Tom Brady has right now, it's going to be on him. I mean, he's got, he's has a lot of injuries right now with Edelman being out, and uh, he just lost another receiver, Danny Amendola. Uh, the running game is kind of like who knows right now. So I feel good about Tom Brady uh, lighting it up this week and going back and forth with Drew Brees. But like I said, that'll probably be the game where it doesn't go that way and screws everybody over. My second pick, I got Tariq Cohen. Now, Tariq Cohen uh, was one of my favorite guys coming out in the draft, and he's about the last weapon that the Chicago Bears have um, their starting running back I'm pretty sure is uh, questionable if I have this correct um, I thought I saw somewhere that he was he was a questionable status yeah right there so uh, who knows what he's gonna be uh, this offense also lost their number one number two receiver their tight ends nobody their quarterbacks nobody so in my opinion all they got left is Tariq Cohen so I expect him to catch a bunch of balls and get a bunch of touches uh, for cheap 4,000 so I don't know if that's actually gonna go down that way or not but I'll take my chance with that then I got Ezekiel Elliott because basically the Denver defense is a shutdown pass defense and I think Dak Prescott's overrated and the Cowboys know that so I think of essentially uh, this is kind of a risky play too, to an extent. I mean, I didn't spend this much on a running back last week, but uh, basically, um, you know, Ezekiel Elliott might very well get winded up there in the Mile High City. That that happens to a lot of people, but I do think that this team is much more vulnerable to run against than pass against. So I do expect the Cowboys to keep the ball on the ground or at least hit El Elliott out of the backfield with a lot of passes. So this is a PPR league, so I think that Elliott's a really good play there. Uh, then I got T.Y. Hilton. This guy right here, he's a, still a good receiver. He led the league in yards last year. He's not going to completely disappear just because the quarterback situation sucks. But Jacoby Brissett is starting for Indianapolis. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that, you know, you got a new quarterback coming in there. Uh, they're going to figure out some safe plays, get it to their playmakers. And T.Y. Hilton is one of the best playmakers in the league. And that's a really good price of 5-3. So I'm taking a shot there. Uh, then we get to the uh, Larry Fitzgerald on my third wide out. I'm sorry, my second wide out. Now, he's going up against a horrible defense in Indianapolis. I, I think that they'll get back on page um, to being, uh, you know, the next team to basically stomp out Indianapolis. But um, Fitzgerald should get back uh, to doing what he was doing. And I, I don't think that that running back they're replacing uh, – you know, David Johnson with is really worth much. So I think that they're going to be forced to throw the ball quite a bit. It might have a little bit of a back and forth game there too. So then I got Chris Hogan to team up with Tom Brady because like I said, uh, most of his receivers and running backs and stuff like that are kind of getting hurt and going down. I really wanted to take that running back white, but you know, this is, the, you never know with the, with the Patriots when it comes to running backs or receivers really. Um, but I, I'll pick one of the running backs and the other one will have a good day. So I went with Hogan. Not that he's ever really done much in the regular season, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that he has a good game. 
in this game. Uh, I also got uh, Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey is, um, to me, I think that the Eagles are going to try to bracket uh, the deep threat. I mean, they don't have much of a cornerback core right now, but I think they're going to try to double team Tyreek Hill, and I think Kelsey's going to get a lot of open looks. That's just my my thought on that. Um, and then I also got Nelson Aguilar. Last week, uh, the Patriots really had an issue. I'm sorry, the Chiefs really had an issue covering the slot. So I think Nelson Aguilar might benefit from that. And then as far as defense goes, like I said, I don't think the Bears have much out there as far as weapons. So I got the Bucks because they were kind of in the range of my price. It wasn't really a defense in this whole week that I really was in love with. So hopefully the Bucks will surprise me. Um, and that's my uh, that's my that's my lineup. I might change it up afterwards uh, because as I was going through this video, I was thinking about. Uh, you know, trying to fit Leonard Fournette in there against uh, Tennessee. I was like, maybe I could squeeze him in. There. So um, that might be the route that I go. But, I mean, because they don't have a great defense in Tennessee. So that's a guy. I might rework my lineup. But as of right now, this is it. I'll try to keep it this way uh, going into the week. And uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoy football tomorrow. Thanks for watching, man. Moist it out.